Do you get confused when it comes to how to solve percent concentration problems? You see problems like these, and you don't know how to figure out that this is a percent concentration problem. And on top of that, you're not sure which formula to use. If that's you, then keep on watching because you'll walk away feeling more confident the next time you see these kind of problems. The first hint that this is a percent concentration problem is that you'll see the words like percent, percentage, or the percent symbol in the question. That signifies to you that this is a problem involving percent concentration. We're going to start with an easy one and then we'll work our way up. Feel free to pause the video at any point to figure it out on your own. I'll be right here when you're ready to check your work. When you read this question, you'll notice that we're given 75 ml of ethanol and 375 ml solution and we're asked to find the percent by volume. When it comes to solving percent concentration, we need to identify what's the solute and what's the solution. Here's a pro tip. You don't need to memorize the formula for percent concentration. All you need to remember is that solute is always on the top and solution is at the bottom and then you multiply with 100%. The solute is the smaller number and the solution is the larger number. In the question, ethanol is the solute since 75 is smaller than 375. Depending on what the question wants, you use either the mass or volume in the equation. I have intro videos for this, I'll place the links at the end. This question is straightforward since it tells us it wants the percent by volume. That means we'll place the volume of solute on top and volume of solution at the bottom times 100%. So we take 75 divided by 375 times 100 and that gives us 20%. That's the percent volume. Moving on to the second question, you'll notice that we're given 200 grams of solution and 30 grams of HCl. What do you think is the solute here? Yeah, it's the HCl. So we'll place the solute on top, which is the 30 grams of HCl, divided by the solution, which is 200 grams, times 100%. And that works out to be 15%. Since it's mass over mass, that 15% is the percent mass, which is abbreviated as percent M over M. Are you feeling good about this? Now we move on to a slightly harder question. Notice now, instead of given the solute and solution, we now have the percentage instead. We're given the percent concentration for vinegar in water solution. You see how it's worded? Vinegar in water solution. That means vinegar is the solute and water is the solvent. The reason being, solute is always dissolved in the solvent. So together, solute and solvent will mix to become the solution. The other piece of information we have is the 500 ml. Read the question carefully and you'll notice that the 500 ml is referring to the solution. So to answer the question, we need to explain how to prepare this solution. That means we need to figure out how much solute and solvent we need. So we know that vinegar and water are both in liquid form. That means the 30% is the percent volume. So 30% equals volume of vinegar, which we do not have, divided by 500 ml times 100. We need to solve for the volume of vinegar, so we need to do a little bit of algebra. If we multiply with 500 and divide by 100, we can solve for the volume of vinegar. Since we did that on the right hand side, we need to do the same thing on the left hand side. So the volume of vinegar works out to be 150 ml, which came from 500 divided by 100 times 30. Since the solution is made out of vinegar and water, we can find the volume of water by subtracting the volume of vinegar from the solution, and that works out to be 350 ml. So to prepare the 30% vinegar in water solution, we need to add 150 ml of vinegar to 350 ml of water. Now notice this question, we have NaCl in water, which is the solute and which is the solvent. Yeah, you got it. NaCl is the solute and water is the solvent, and together they form the saline solution. So we're given 10% mass over volume, and we are asked to find the grams of NaCl to prepare 35 ml of solution. So let's start with the formula. Notice that it's mass over volume. For this type of calculation, we need to use specific unit for the mass and volume. It's either grams over ml or kg over liter. Since we're given the volume in ml and we're asked to find the mass in grams, therefore we're going to go with the grams over ml. In the previous questions that we've worked with, 
for percent volume, it doesn't matter what unit we use, as long as the unit that we use for the top and the bottom value are the same. And the same goes with the mass. Like if we use grams on top, we just need to use grams at the bottom. If we use kilogram on top, we just need to make sure that we use kilograms at the bottom. So back to this question. So the 10% is equals to the mass of NaCl, which we don't have, divided by 35 ml times 100. We do the math to solve for the mass of NaCl, and that works out to be 35 divided by 100 times 10. So that's equals 3.5 grams for the mass of NaCl. Do you feel more confident now? I have a percent concentration playlist here, so do check it out for the intro videos as well as more challenging questions. Subscribe for more chemistry videos, and I'll see you in the next one.